This episode is pretty long, and we'll spend the first half preparing for one heist, and then the second half doing another heist. And the entire time, it will very much be rated M. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people, committed a litany of other crimes. Here's Trevor. Gee, right! Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. <laughs> not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're going to use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money. For us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're gold. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. What a day. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Grand Theft Auto V. On the last episode, we received a text from Steve. It says, I need you all with the lot in Elboro Heights for a face-to-face. -face. Don't be late. I'm going to stay here and go over things. So I wasn't. And I came straight here. It means we're going to be postponing the heist mission for uh, one more episode. Uh, at least I think so. Um, but it does mean we get to do a fun threesome. Well, you know what I mean. I use threesome in a loving term. In a <laughs> in a term related to getting stuff done. Right, Conference guys, call. Here more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man, I got you, dog. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Bite me. All right, so setup tasks are available at HS. Getaway vehicle is also required. So we've got some stuff to do. We did some preparation for the heist last episode. Now we're going to be doing some preparation for this, which I guess is also a heist. Something. This vehicle is owned by Trevor and cannot be used as a getaway vehicle because he would be completely destroyed if something were ever to happen to it. All right, so we're here. We're pretty close to both of these. Uh, Federal Inges Investigation Bureau is where what's happening? Something. What? Which heist thing is that? Is what I'm wondering. Uh, I don't know. Okay, they're all. <laughs> they're all. They all say the same thing. I was kind of wondering where we do certain things, but I believe 
that this one is how we start the mission. Up here is how we get something. We need a tow truck and some other bullcrap and then the getaway vehicle. And for the getaway vehicle, we're going to have to pick something fast. They said discreet, but I can't really imagine that mattering. I will probably just get like a super fast vehicle that can hold enough people and then we'll be good. It's going to be an interesting episode. First, we're going to drive up here and see what the crap it is uh, we need here. We'll take it back to the lot. Um, we should be able to accomplish everything this episode. I don't think we'll have any problems uh, doing that. Also, it's really dumb that you have to zoom in to the map in order to make sure that it lands on the HS. Because otherwise, I, I have to drive out here in the middle of nowhere so I don't have to go back to my map screen to mark things off. Also, I'm not going to crash into a gas pump again because that gave me some serious problems last episode. All right. So, steal the garbage truck. All right, so you're the garbage truck. I think I can handle that. Hi, right, pal. I don't mean to cause you any problems, but uh, I need this truck. Run! Caution, little pricks. All right, so we got the uh, got the garbage truck. That's one thing down. I'm gonna. Oh my god! I was about to say, well, time to take this to the lot. Nope. Have to lose the police. Alrighty, done and done. That's one part that's finished. Leave the garbage truck. Alright, now we have to move on to the other things. Though, that counts as a mission. Trash truck, the mission. 84% silver. And we have a nice vehicle here so I can go uh, grab a few other things. Uh, now, the other thing we need is a tow truck. I'm guessing that the tow truck is... Maybe... Now, that's the heist that I needed. This is maybe the tow truck? Possibly? Alright, so what is it I'm trying to get here? I'm not actually sure why I'm here. But there's something I need in this area. Oh! That's right, masks! Oh, this is gonna be good. Hey there! Can I browse your masks? Oh, the masks are the best part. Alright, so we all need masks. Buy a mask for Trevor. <laughs> oh god, it's great. Red monster mask, pig mask, dark pig mask, silver skull, bone skull, space monkey, white hockey mask, red hockey mask, ape mask, dark ape mask, carnival orange mask, carnival white mask, blue, red wrestler, green wrestler, patriot wrestler, domino wrestler, gray wrestler, phoenix wrestler. How could you do anything other than three pigs? The three little pigs. We'll all take masks. Three pig masks. It's too good. It's too good. It's also kind of a Mother 3 reference, too. Masks acquired. Mission pass. All right. Steal the tow truck. That's something I've done several times before. Or actually... Come on. Come on. Can I talk to this guy? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, well, I don't know if he wants me to steal oh, his tow shit. truck. So I'm going to take him out. No offense, bro. I don't mean you any harm. Well, actually, I did, because I got your 20 bucks. But I just need your tow truck. Tow truck acquired! I don't know how many times we've done tow truck runs. Actually, is Trevor himself... Trevor's been in one before, I think, maybe once. Right? Or is it always Franklin? It's almost always Franklin. Anyway, back to the lot. Here we are. Tow truck. Acquired. Bam. Mission passed. Three, two, one. There we are. Tow truck. All right, the only other thing I need is a getaway car, and apparently I don't have to take that anywhere in particular. I have to acquire it and then call Michael and tell him where I'm leaving it. So I get to choose. This could be interesting. Conference call. Tow truck is at the lot. All right. This vehicle can be used as a getaway vehicle. Hide it in a discreet location. Then select the mark getaway location option when you are phoning Michael. So I can hide this thing wherever I want. As long as it is a discreet location. What's discreet? This entire area out here looks pretty discreet. I'm just not sure where it wants me to hide it. Like, where are we going to be? That's what doesn't make any sense to me. Should I hide it? 
like around the FBI building? Is that where I need to be? I have no idea. I mean, I could hide it anywhere. Let me call Michael and and find out what I should do. Michael! The getaway vehicle cannot be placed here. This location is too close to the FIB lot. Uh, I see. So if I drive, will I eventually get the option when I get far enough away from it? I'm not really sure where it wants me to put the stupid thing. That's kind of been the entire issue. Ensure the vehicle was at a stop before making the call to mark the getaway location. Alright, so I'm just going to chill it here on the side of the road. This location is on a road. Okay. Well, I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it here. Can it be placed here? This location can be used. Okay, well now I will call Michael and mark it. Might not be the best idea, but I'm doing it. We have a getaway vehicle ready and waiting. Good work, T. Where'd you put it? Alboro Heights. Okay. Um, do I need to remember where this is? God, I hope not, because I'll probably never find it again. Getaway vehicle done. It's a very bulky truck that is not going to go very fast. And will not go around turns all that well. And you know what? I have no regrets. It, because to be honest, it seems some, it, like something Trevor would actually do. I'm, uh, I'm getting in character. Excuse me, sir! I'm gonna need this vehicle. Because I need to drive to the heist. The heist is over at the FIB building. Let's go. Alright, we're meeting at the ammunition. Not sure why. Oh, three boiler suits. Okay, so we're not starting the heist yet. We still have to buy the suits. God, there was so much we had to do. Browse armor. That's probably what we need to do, right? I'll go over here to the armor. Browse tops and boiler suits. Navy boiler suit. Gray boiler suit. Green. Brown. There's a lot of different... Okay, these are hoodies. All right, so we need boiler suits. Okay, we're going to go with... There's navy and gray. I don't know why we have a civil war going on, but I say we get gray suits. So gray, gray, gray. Bam! All right, I feel good about this. We're all gray suits and pig-headed. Leave ammunition. With pleasure, my sir. All right, sounds good. Let's make a call. Boiler suits can come off the shopping list. All right, that's everything. I'll call Steve, tell him we're ready to move on this. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we are going to be doing a heist this episode. The episode might run a little long because of that. And also, I don't think we're going to get paid on this heist, which sucks. But uh, it also seems like we're going to have two back-to-back -back heist episodes, and I think that is actually pretty neat. The only thing I need to do now is receive a call that will push this forward. Just got to give it a little time. That's one way to park it. They couldn't even do an animation for me getting out of the car. So after driving around a little bit and being confused and looking online, it seems to me that I actually can't proceed with the heist I was doing until I complete this heist. So it looks like we're doing this heist this episode. And possibly the other heist the next episode. The preparations on both of them should be done. So we're going to have back-to-back heist episodes. Wait! Floyd! One of you shits must be here. Hello, there he Trevor. Is. I missed you. Hello, Wade. I missed you too. Uh, hello, Trevor. <laughs> oh, there. Hey, Hot Lips. Where you been hiding? No, no, no nowhere. I've... I got a, a knot the size of a baseball in here. All right, needs a little uh, loosening up. All right. Oh, <laughs> massage me, motherfucker. <laughs> good, good. Ah. Ah. Oh. Trevor's hard at work, huh? Uh, <laughs> where's the surrogate child? Who? Uh, the boy! With the stars in his eyes. Not like that. What's not like that? Oh, hey! Hey there, uh, You and him, the old father-son issues? Gives me the fucking creeps. How's the <laughs> leg rub? Oh, it's excellent! Uh, you wanna go? No, I'm good, though. <laughs> hey, I, I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. What the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, Michael, all right? You owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out, and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. Better not have been. I mean, like, you give a fuck. Oh, 
See, I give a fuck, Michael. It's a position, a fucking viewpoint, all right? Like God, like evolution, like anything else. Sunshine, boredom, lies, that's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds, but for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses, you know? A carrion-eating motherfucker. Do you understand that? <laughs> wow. Woo! Bravo, you fucking idiot. Man, I still don't get the score. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd! All right, now, <laughs> Floyd's got... Not the... Fuck, get no out of here! All right? Now, Floyd here works at the port. He puts me onto Meriwether Security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up. I guarantee no problems, no major heat. Mm. Let's get going, all right? Let's take our slightly past dead vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks! It must not be a huge job since we never even had the option to bring other people on. It must just take the three of us. Oh, we look so good. Sandy Shores Airfield, bro. Find a four-seater vehicle. <laughs> The pickup truck? Who gets in the back? Ah, uh, Franklin, you get in the back. And I gotta be careful not to hit anything or Franklin will go flying out. Just hold tight, brother. Sandy Shores? That's quite a distance. What's with this guy? Man, I didn't realize we was going all the way out there either. I've been told your generation are work shy. Repeatedly. But this is the first time I've seen it for myself. You won't leave the city for the biggest take of your life? Man, it's not like that. Well, what is it like, huh? Wow. You think the world owes you a living? Oh, God. You want money and respect, but you won't cross the street to get it. That useless millennial shit is more of a middle class thing. Moron. Where I'm from, hustling is still hustling. And going halfway across the state is still, uh, going halfway across the state. Yeah, well, Sandy Shores is the global headquarters for TP Inc., okay? So we gotta make the trip. TP Inc.? Trevor Phillips Industries. My company. Industries or Incorporated? <laughs> if it's TP Inc., it'd be Trevor Phillips Incorporated. Just saying. You're mocking me! Nice! Is it so strange that I've made a success of my life? I know that wasn't what you wanted for me when you ran off. But still, Trevor, it's a business, Michael, an honest American business, and there aren't many of them left. Hey, you know this airstrip we're going to, we're managing it. Yeah, I hate to think what you did to the last managers. The lost MC LLP experienced an unexpected downturn. We had to step in. The lost motorcycle club. <laughs> yeah, you're a serious businessman, T. I cannot believe this. The hard-working entrepreneur is getting shit from a guy so lazy he retired in his 30s. And then from this other guy whose sense of entitlement is so strong, he asks how far we had to travel when he's offered a job he ain't even qualified to do. This is why the country is screwed. There's <laughs> not enough me's. There's too many you's. Yeah, a country full of you's. That's just what this world needs. Shit would get done. It would be Darwinian. Hey, look, dude, we are helping you out. But if you think you'd be better off on your own... No, 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 hey, look, hey. God, oh, just let's calm down, all right? We have a score to take. There is profit to be made. I mean, don't that beat getting picked up by G-Men and forced to work for free? Yeah, 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 all right. Talk us through exactly what's going on. We're going out to Sandy Shores. I know that part. My guys will meet us there. They'll have the submarine. I'm gonna get into said submarine that... Wait, hold on. You had the flying lessons, right? Hey, I came prepared. I didn't know what I was preparing for, but I'm feeling pretty confident in the air. Good, 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 good. Hey, what's the next part of the plane? There's an army chopper at the airfield. You're both getting into it. Michael's flying. Gonna take off, pick up the submarine with me in it, and flying out to a point off the coast. You're gonna drop me into the ocean. I'll pilot the sub down to find the device the government's been testing. I'll get it, surface, you'll fly me back to the airfield. 
What kind of device? What kind doesn't matter. How much will be paid for it does matter. These are government scientists we're robbing. I said at the condo. The tests are being run by Meriwether Security Consulting. Ah, yes, the mercenaries. Fresh from fighting our secret oil wars. Should be very relaxing. If stealing a prototype like this from the government was relaxing, then everyone would be doing it. As it stands, we've got an opportunity to mint some serious coin. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's easier ways. And this sounds extreme, T, even for you. Can't we rethink? I mean, how deep are you into it? How deep? I've got a sub, I've got a big helicopter. I've been researching this since I got to LS. Those guys, Wade and his cousin Floyd, are expecting a paycheck. Same with my intel guy, Ron Jakowski. Who is a damn sight better than Lester, I might add. Oh. Okay, fine, fine, I'll go along with it. Listen, Frank, if you want out, I understand. No, 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 I'm good. I can do it with a paycheck. That's the spirit! Well... <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. This is going to be pretty interesting, but let's get started. Hey! Hey! Here's the sub! Floyd, wait! Wait in the hangar! I guess this is our chopper. Alright, get in the cargo, Bob. At least I get to have Franklin along to chat with. <laughs> no fatties is written on the side. TP Inc. Or end. Now it says end. Use the grappling hook to pick up the submersible. Alright, get in there, Trevor. Jeez, this is gonna be. There's a rig attached to your chopper. Weird. Hover low over the submarine and they'll connect. Alright, hold on. Hover low above the submarine. Can you handle that, Michael? Imagine what this would be like if you hadn't taken those flying lessons. We are hooked up! You gotta drop me a couple clicks out to see from Polito Cove. <laughs> I am controlling a helicopter that's dragging a submarine through the air. Trevor, you got your company name sprayed all over this chopper. But, uh, everything else about it says military. Yep, I got it from the military base. And there's all this military hardware in the back. Guns and whatnot. Mm-hmm, this thing gets hot, they'll come in handy. Hey, I thought it wasn't getting hot. You said no major heat. That you guaranteed it. It's a score, Michael. Even if you don't anticipate heat, you prepare for it. That's the code. That's why I don't take scores. Not anymore. I'm out of the game, man. What am I doing? Oh, really? You don't take scores? No. Not anymore. What say you, Franklin? I say this is a conversation between you two. So, that wasn't you guys then at the Rockford Hills Jewel Store. Hey, that's right around the corner from my house, T. I might have been there buying something for Amanda. I certainly wasn't robbing it. Oh, okay, oh, my mistake, my mistake. It was a, a pretty tight job, though, eh? I mean, the, the planning was there. They went in, right? They got out clean. I mean, there were some problems, but they kept their head, right? Yeah, yeah, pulled it off. All right, all right. It was us. Of course it was us. Any other clowns would be in Bolingbroke now. Mm, no, nah, there were some weak points. I mean, whoever fed that cheesy line to the parking guy, that guy, amateur! <laughs> yeah, show us how it's done then, T. If you're such a professional, just run along the coast. This whole thing ain't got nothing to do with our thing. All right, release the submersible near to the test site. All right, let me uh, just kind of get close here. And drop. We're in. Use the Trackify app to locate the device. What? <laughs> Trackify allows you to locate the target in the world. Use the information the device to track down the device. Alive. I'm reading the signal. Okay, well let's... Submerge ourselves a little bit here. Okay, hold on. We gotta get this thing straightened out so I can friggin' see. Hold on, where is this? Alright, dead ahead. 
Now I just gotta figure out where this thing is. I'm assuming right, it's gonna be. Tiny McFlighty, I'm down here. My phone's hooked up to the sensors on the sub. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I got an app here that should pick up the signal. <laughs> it's relaying the diagnostics from this thing. Come on, get to it, man. An ex army helicopter hovering by this platform's gonna raise suspicions. Yeah. That's gonna be pretty problematic, I think. Uh, back up this way. Gee, how you doing down there? Oh, I'm staring into the abyss, and I like it, Michael. Still pretty far away, I think. Good lord, it just got deep. All right, let's go down. Good lord, what's down here? This is cool. This is really cool. Like, I know so many of the missions have been really interesting, but this one in particular. So far, I'm gonna have to like squeeze through this canyon. I I'm actually really curious to see what they are testing, and also really curious to see how on earth we're gonna get out of this, because it seems like it's gonna be kind of hard. Oh, we're getting close. I whatever this. Can that thing handle a little pressure? It's safer at the bottom of the ocean than it is strapped to the helicopter you're flying. Oh, hello. This looks like it, right there. It's bolted to the seafloor. I'm securing it. Go to the device. Got it! I'm surfacing! Okay. Whatever. Now I just gotta figure out hey, how man, I got in so, here. Uh, got the thing. What is it? We'll know what it is when we can run some tests. Well, what it look like? What you think it is? Uh, best guess it was... Hooked into the rock, maybe on a fault line, so could be a seismic suppressor to combat earthquakes and tsunamis. Or, no, potentially it's like a fusion reactor running on seawater. Like nuclear? Yeah, the good kind of nuclear. And is this what your bar was after? Yeah, well for sure. No, we'll be paid, Frankie. We will be well paid. Bam! I've surfaced. Now time to switch over to Michael and get this thing and go. What sucks is I gotta fly low enough to actually pick up Trevor, which is gonna be hard as Lift crap. Up. Let's go. Hold on. I really hope, I, I, I know there's going to be police. There's gonna be crazy amounts of police, but I just hope the police don't bother me until after I've hooked this thing up. Because this is already ridiculously hard. Careful, careful, careful. You got got it. Me. Now come on, let's go back to the airfield. This is where I anticipate bad things happening. This is where <laughs> I'm not too sure. We gotta fly all the Watch way the back. Stick, Michael, we gotta move. Cause I found this thing using an app on my phone, which means the private army guardian can find it pretty easy too. Oh god. Yeah, oh. Oh, Switch over. Weather boats coming right at us. Frank, take one of those guns and see what you can do about our tail. Bam! Swap sides of the helicopter. Oh, that's neat. Hold on, I gotta... This is gonna be hard. Right side, man. Get over there. Shut up! The the right. Kill the, right. kill the pilot and it should go down. There we go, see you guys later. Again? I need to be careful not to shoot my own plane. No, oh, no, 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 you don't, my friends. I don't know what it is I stole, but I need it for mon monetary purposes. Other side! Shoot the pilots! Okay, now we're, now we're looking out the back. Oh, they have rockets. That's not good. That's actually quite bad. Shoot them down, shoot them down. That one's going down. To the right! Good God almighty! Take... Hold on! Fuck those two. Man, I think that's all of them for now. Alright! Dang. Keep on going to the airstrip! Switch to Michael. Before the plane goes down. Woo! How far away are we from the stupid thing? It's gonna take a while to actually get over there. What was that, T? I told you! That was Meriwether! Those choppers! Man, that ain't normal private security guards! 
<laughs> this is a fun second heist. I'm enjoying this. And it's actually not that bad. I, I mean, it wasn't particularly difficult. Everything was pretty straightforward. I mean, I guess we're not to the airstrip yet, but it looks like things are going to go okay. Makes me wonder what the next heist is going to be like. There's a helicopter over in the distance. Is that a bad helicopter? Am I going to have to shoot that helicopter? No, I think it's just traveling. Doesn't have anything to do with me. Is that even a helicopter? That's a jet of some sort. Oh, it's a biplane. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It looks like my helicopter is taking some damage. Although, that's kind of the way it looked like a few episodes ago when I picked it up. So, I don't know. Maybe that's actually just the exact same as it was before. Or maybe I got shot a little bit. Which I guess is a little more likely. Get lower to the airstrip. Alright, I'm going. Gonna figure out how I'm gonna actually drop this thing. Which is gonna be hard. Fly low over the airstrip and release the submersible. Alright, let me turn this thing around so I can see what I'm doing. There's a particular spot it wants me to put it. And I'm gonna try and match that spot as best I can. Careful, 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 careful. There we go. And I should probably land the helicopter. Or not. Do you know what you the wire is going fucking crazy! Oh, and good to see you, too! <laughs> What's it been? Not ten years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you! I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese! Damn, T! This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did! Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. <laughs> Doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. You know, drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. Man. You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper. Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay! All right, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey, we need a score. Remember. Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. <laughs> oh, me too. Wow, all that work. Trevor, okay, tre Trevor, 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 calm down, buddy. Well, heist passed. I'm a little woozy from all that. 75%, not bad. Um, hmm. 20 million, and then put it back. Son of a gun. Wow. So, Floyd took the chopper back, and we took the super weapon back. Is that the thing? He attached the super weapon back to the helicopter and then it's going to drop in the ocean. Man, that sucks. All that work for essentially nothing. Whatever. Got a call. What? I spoke to Steve. We're ready to move. He wants us to bring the stuff to the guy we met at the interrogation, Devin Weston. Big time investor, apparently. I'll let you handle that. Brown nose and the rich was always your talent and it looks like you spent the last decade honing it. Hmm. That means that we've got to go ahead for the next heist. I don't know if we're going to get paid, and to be honest, I kind of doubt it. Two back-to-back -back heists with no pay sucks, but we'll be doing yet another heist next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Grand Theft Auto V. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. <laughs> Let's do this.